Okay, so quick demo on adding a checkout page um, to your to your group pages. So I'm going to do a couple things. First of all, go to um, uh, let's see, Groove Cell. I think you've already done this based on what your uh, screens showed, and that is that you had uh, already had your funnel. Oh, it's down here. Sorry. You already had your product funnel set up, and you've already had your tools. You've had you have a checkout set up, and it looks like you had the link prepped. So that part is important to make sure you have a link set up over here. I think you've done that. So over here, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Elements and scroll down to the bottom. I think somebody already mentioned this, but you're going to grab the second one here, Groove Cell Checkout. You're going to put it on your page wherever you want it. And it's going to come up with this placeholder, but when you click on it, you can configure it. So you go, you go to checkout page, you choose which funnel, which product funnel it's from, and you choose the product, and then you choose which checkout you've created. So um, these are the ones I'm just going to do checkout, and then you update it. And when you do that, you get you get what you want, which is your checkout. Now, you were putting it on a pop-up, so we're gonna go, there's your checkout. So you were putting it on a pop-up, so we're gonna click on that, and we're gonna create a pop-up, and when you get here, it should say it looks a bit empty here. That's why I think every now and then you lose uh, pop-up layout and information, so it looked to me like you did, so go in and create a new one, and when it says it looks, looks a bit empty, uh, we'll just, choose this one and just for the sake of argument we're going to go now to elements and go down here do the same thing on the pop-up same thing exact same thing now you have a checkout on your pop-up configure go through the configuration steps make sure you save and exit so let's just go ahead and do that So we now have a pop-up that has a checkout in it, and of course it's not centered, and of course it's uh, not looking that great. But we do save and exit, and now you have your pop-up. Let me know if that is not enough info.